congratulations on your role as Academy Manager. How excited are you to start this new role at Accrington Stanley? Very much, yeah, really excited. Um, obviously been here for a long time now. Um, obviously learnt a lot from the staff that have been here before me and will take a lot from them in terms of the way I approach things and we as staff approach things moving forward in kind of the this next iteration of the academy but um, you know really excited to continue all the good work we've done in the past and kind of build off the processes and stuff that we've put in place in recent years to make sure all the good work continues. I guess a lot of people don't know you so go on tell us, <laughs> tell us your background. Yeah. Um, well I've been here for six years just about um, started off in 2018 as a volunteer um, before moving on to becoming a, an age group coach with foundation phase and youth development phase, so the 9s to 12s and the 13s to 16s. Um, then moved on to becoming the head of performance analysis for the academy, looking after all the analysis across 9s to 18s. And then at the back of um, lockdown in 2020, when Duncan went on to become academy manager, I was then appointed into senior leadership role as head of operations. Um, so I've been doing that for, for four years um, until now. Did you always want to get into football when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, it was kind of the, the only real option for me, to be honest, since I was kind of going through college and, and university. So it was always kind of what I was preparing myself for. I think my initial kind of aim was always to coach and be on the pitch. But the more I've been in kind of senior leadership roles and been involved with kind of the leadership strategy management of the academy, kind of found myself a little bit more suited to that side of things than perhaps what I originally thought I would have. It's big at the academy now that although the priority is on bringing footballers through to the first team, it's also about caring for uh, the players that might not make mm -hmm. it, you know, with education yeah. and personal development and things. Uh, it's already started, I guess you're just going to carry on overseeing that. Yeah, we've done some, some really good work in recent years around the kind of player care, player experience space in particular. Um, so I was quite heavily involved with that alongside um, Duncan Fernhead and kind of producing all those plans and the initiatives and then actually implementing them year on year. Um, so as kind of head of operations, I oversaw all the player care provision at the academy across all the age groups. Um, so kind of from a hands-on point of view, I was the one implementing that in a way. So kind of really looking forward to continuing all that work. But then I still think there's kind of room that we can kind of innovate and, and evolve moving forward as well in that area as well. That's it, you'll have your own ideas as well. Have you, uh, are you able to implement any of them at the moment or is it just a case of a process of just sussing out the role and then uh, starting to put your uh, your stamp on it? No, I think uh, the, the past couple of weeks since since Duncan's obviously moved on, we've been kind of working all together as staff to, to make sure things run as normal for the players and the, the parents, which I think is the most important thing. I don't think in the, the interim period anyone will have noticed any difference in kind of the experience and the care off the pitch or the quality of the coaching and support. On the pitch, so that's been kind of my my, my forefront. How proud of you uh, are you of this role? Obviously, you know, Accrington Stanley brought quite a lot of players through yeah. over the years, um, but also the academy is you know very well thought of in the area because of the player care. You know, how proud are you to take on this role? Yeah, I'm really proud, really happy. Um, yeah, there's there's nine current players in the in the first team squad that are. Academy developed and have been through the programme at whatever age, whether they've come in um, as young as nine, some are coming in later in the, the journey at 15 and 16. Um, so obviously really happy to have played some part in, in their journey and obviously looking forward to helping the next generation of players move into the first team environment because we do have some really good young players in the younger age groups that I think can certainly follow that, that same path.